Hey guys, this is Lee and today I'm going to be showing you how you can set up an RSS feed in a Discord tech channel on a server. So, first off, you want to have the channel you're going to be using. Here I've just created a test one, RSS feed, and you want to also create an account on the website zapier.com. I'll leave the link to this in the description. It's free to create an account, you can have up to five of these at the same time. You're never going to reach the limit of 50k and you don't need any of these extra features to use it. It's going to check every 15 minutes for a new post and if there is one since the last time it's checked it'll post them and if there's more than one it'll post all of them. So first off we're going to hit make a zap and here we want to search for RSS and we're going to be using new item in feed and then we're going to need the feed URL that we're going to be using. In my case I'm going to be using the Arshaf Steam subreddit one. If you're using a subreddit one, you can just add slash new for the new post and then slash the RSS to get it. Depending on what feed you're using, this will be different. Username, password, and what triggers a new feed item, you're going to leave all that as default. And then it's going to try pull some items from the feeds. So we've got this one, any help with screen tearing? It's a way anyway, my girlfriend can give me free cents. And these item set, description, category, title, ID, all this stuff in here, we can use this in our post content for what's going to be posted to the server. So we're just going to click continue and then add a step action slash search. I'm going to be using webhooks. So when it finds a new item in feed, it's going to send a webhook. It's going to be doing the post type. And then here we want the webhook URL. To get that, you want to edit the channel you're going to be using, go to webhooks, create webhook, and then you can get the URL here. Also, I forgot to mention this in the original recording, but make sure the webhook URL doesn't get leaked or sent to anyone who shouldn't have it, as anyone with the webhook URL can post to that channel without your permission and post any content with any avatar and any username. So keep that in mind and keep it secure the link. If it does get compromised, delete the webhook and create a new one. You can also change the channel here, the name of the webhook bot that's going to be posting it and the webhook icon. The icon and name can be also changed drawing when the post gets made on Zapier. So I'll show you that right now. So we've got the URL, payload type, we want that to be set to JSON. Data. For data, we can have avatar underscore URL, and that's going to put it as the avatar, whatever URL this is. In my case, this feed doesn't really offer like a link to an image that I can use for it, so I'm going to leave that one out. Username. So you can set the username of the bot. In my case, I'm going to be using the author of the Reddit post. So I'll post whatever the author of the post is. In this case, the test item is UXCA. And then the last one is content. This is actually what the message content is going to be that's getting sent. So I'm going to use the title and then let's embed the link. To embed a link, in square brackets, you want to put the text that's going to be hyperlinked. I'm just going to use view here. And then in curly brackets, you want to put the actual link itself in curly brackets like that. You want to leave all this the same apart from headers. Headers, you want to put content dash type, making sure the caps are the same here, and application slash JSON, making sure that's all in lowercase. And then for continue, it's going to give us this. This is what's going to be sent. Send test. And now if we check in the channel, we've got our post. We've got the username of the post, the title of it and a embedded link to go directly to it, which takes us here. Now make sure you click finish and you can name it and then turn it on. Like I says, it will check every 15 minutes for a new post and if it finds one, it'll post it in the same format as done there. If you want to change it, you can edit template and mess with that. Depending on the feed, it'll have different elements you can use. Make sure after editing it, you turn it back on again because it might turn itself off. Also, to turn on Zaps, you do need to verify your email on the site, so make sure you verify your email on your account so you can do that. Other than that, that's everything, so hopefully that helped you out.